What's going on, YouTube? AGV King Raw uh, from AGV Webisodes. And right now, we got some breaking news. Both of Diddy's houses is getting raided, both in Miami and in LA. I think the LA one happened first. Well, matter of fact, I think the Miami one happened first. But being that, you know, it's the police, the, the news didn't even really know about it. So they found out about the Miami one. And then I guess LA found out about it. So LA looked at his house in LA found out that that house was getting raided too. So both of his houses is being raided for a, for a, um, a felony uh, sex trafficking probe. They got tanks outside of his houses right now. They they uh, taking all of his photos. I think they looking for hard drives and a bunch of stuff like that. Basically when they do stuff like that, that's what they are looking for. Um, if you didn't know, Cassie filed that lawsuit about three to four months ago. Um, I think they was in a relationship from 2003 to like 2017, but she filed a lawsuit about all the, uh, the sexual acts and all the other little stuff that she went through. Well, not little stuff, the big stuff that she went through, whatever. I don't even want to get in that. That ain't my business. But all the stuff that she been through went into the lawsuits within like a week. Diddy settled. I think she was looking for like 30 million. I don't know what she settled for, but did he settle within like a week? So that was kind of crazy. That was like a, a red flag off rip. So now when you see that both of his houses is getting raided, you, you kind of wonder uh, what else was tied to this situation, being that they call it a sexual probe. They're calling it a trafficking probe. So that means that I don't know if he was on some Jeffrey Epstein type stuff or what exactly that means. All I know is that the house in LA is not in Diddy's name. That or or no no no. Well, neither one of the houses is in Diddy's name. They're just related to Diddy. So every house it said well the news said any house that's related to Diddy is being raided for for uh basically for photos and for hard drives and all that type of stuff. So after Ka Cassie settled her lawsuit uh, for whatever amount of millions, uh, two more girls came forth in New York, I think. I think New York passed a law saying that there's no more statute of limitations when it comes to sexual acts. So um, girls, like no matter what, they can bring it up in court and, and make a lawsuit. So, so with that being said, two more girls uh, came and sued Diddy after that. I don't know what he did with those lawsuits. All I know is that the house in Miami is being raided uh, I think it it really belongs to his daughter and it belongs to like bad boy films But anything related to Diddy itself is being raided to find like more information that got to do with the actual uh, Incidents that he has to do with um, Let me see So his house is being raided by Homeland Security uh, they look like Ninja Turtle tanks all through his driveway. It's like four of them in LA. That's what I seen when I was when I was looking at it. But um, basically, the uh, there's a there's a lawyer named Megan Cuniff. Uh, she sent the tweet that had a lot to do with the uh, thirty million dollar lawsuit when it came to Cassie. And one thing that I didn't realize is that in that lawsuit, it said that there was like a mole or like a like a uh, like a snitch basically. So. That means that somebody around Diddy had something to do with that lawsuit with Cassie. Like to say, oh yeah, 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 what she's telling is true. That's probably why he settled out of court so fast. But, um, yeah. I don't know who got arrested. I don't know who was in the actual homes. Um, we don't know. Um, the, the, I guess the cameras got there too late to actually see the, the raid actually happening. So nobody knows who was arrested. No, I don't think Diddy was actually in the houses. I, I wouldn't doubt it if he wasn't even in America. But from what we've seen so far, nobody was arrested. Um, there's not no crazy things with guns out and all out inside of his houses and stuff like that. Really, it's just police. And they just look for stuff. You see all the doors open. But... I just wanted to give y'all an update on what's going on right now. I didn't think that this was going to actually happen, but you got so many lawsuits and then not to mention the people who he was in business with, with the Deleon company, like you're dealing with billionaire, billionaires, super billionaires. So it's like, as soon as you cross one of these people, you, you not, there's no safety net for you. You don't have no, as soon as you get 
in bed with certain people like that, you can't undo certain stuff. Like, so it's like, I don't know. As soon as Diddy start dropping lawsuits and saying that that bigger company was blackballing him and wasn't promotion is promoting his uh brand like they should. At the end of the day, even if they wasn't, that's not the type of conversation you want to have in court because those aren't the type of people that you want to like have as enemies. That's just reality of things. Like once you get into that type of field, you don't want to have these type of enemies. What you want to do is try to figure like once you realize the table that you're at, you want to kind of figure out how to get a fuck from up at that table. That's just the reality of things. Like you, when you realize that you're at a table full of vultures and these people is real deal billionaires, you think that your little money is something or you think that your little talent is something until you realize that niggas, niggas die every day. So it's like, I don't know. You get in situations like that, you kind of want to watch your mouth and you kind of, but I'm not saying you know, like little black boy, shut up. I'm just saying, you gotta know when you're in a, you gotta know when you're in a, in a, in a, you gotta know when you're in like a, a meat mill situation. And what I mean by that is having the value to the record labels, which he doesn't right now. So he's not signed. He's an independent artist. They didn't want to sign him again for a big bag. But you, then you look at somebody like Dirk, or you look at somebody like, um, what's a better situation? Kanye. Kanye's not signing nobody. Kanye figured out how to get from up under that table. Kanye may have made some anti-Semitic marks, but what he did was force people to not mess with him. He bounced, he backed up, and then what he did was he adapt, he attacked. And then he used Ty Dolla Sign and used different people that also have machines behind them and just used their momentum and then threw his wife in there, threw his shoes in there, threw his brand in there, and it made 20 million in a day. Not to mention what he made off the music going number one in the country. Like, you just gotta get what I'm saying when I say that. Like, you can't, I'm not saying shut up and work, I'm saying, you got to know who you're around when you're around them. And if you're at a table full of billionaires like that, they, they, bro, you're not winning. You're not winning unless you figure out how to back out. And then, you know, you kind of got to force people to not like you. And that's how it is sometimes. That, that's really how it is. It's like you got to trick people into thinking that you don't want them to like you. Or you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't know. I hope everything is good with Diddy. Um, this is just an update from AGV Webisodes. I wanted to let y'all know because I don't know if anybody let y'all know yet. But thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. God love y'all.